Squatters aren't happy about the water rationing. But then when are they ever happy? Personal space meaning anything to you, lady? What do we have here? Another petitioner for the king? Who's the king? You believe this asshole man? In Freeside, the kings rule. And the king rules the kings, got it? Anything's possible, I suppose. How much is it worth to you to meet the big man? You know what? I like you. Half the people around here, they forget who runs this place. Head on through. The king's the bored-looking guy by the stage. Can't fucking miss him. Personal space meaning anything to you, lady? Look, Rexy, someone new's come to see us. Poor boy. He hasn't been feeling well lately. I'm the king. What can I do for you? Maybe so. Maybe so. You look like you might be able to handle yourself. Tell you what, you do me a favor, and I'll have some more work for you when it's done. Sound good? I'll start you off with something easy. Did you notice the bodyguards for hire near the gates when you entered Freeside? It's good money if you can stay alive long enough. Freeside's not as safe as it used to be, so the money is well-earned. Usually well-earned, that is. Recently, my man tell me that one of those bodyguards, a fella named Oris, is making a little too much money. He's making a killing in repeat business. Once someone hires him, they never want anyone else. I want you to find out why. Specifically, I want you to hire him. Play the part of an innocent tourist and follow his lead. If nothing happens, so be it. But I'm guessing things won't go so smoothly. Call it a hunch. So, what do you say? You may have noticed that some of those guards out there are kings, too. I'm just looking out for my men. I'm not trying to get some kind of unfair advantage. I just want a level playing field for my boys. So, what do you say? Okay, then. Once you part ways, return here. I'll look forward to hearing your report. Oh, and take this to cover the hiring cost. What's up? We've got stuff we're not even allowed to sell, people. Watch out! If you need to cross Freeside, no one will keep you safer than I will. Sorry, but all the people with real money are heading for the Strip, so that's the way I go. You want to go somewhere else? Hire one of these losers. Done and done. I want to mention a few things up front. In order to ensure your safety, I need you to follow my instructions to the letter. We'll be heading down the main street here the whole way down. No detours. You go off sightseeing, and I go off to find another customer. I'll keep a brisk pace, so try not to fall behind. Now let's head out. To your left here is the old Mormon fort. You get roughed up, the followers there will patch you right up. Not that I ever need their services. Up ahead on the next block is where the kings hang out. Don't let them scare you. We've if they don't outnumber you five to one, to you'll be people. fine.
Down to the right here is the fun part of town. You haven't seen Freeside till you've been to the Wrangler. Hey, slow down. I don't like the look of some of those men ahead. Let's take a different way around. Nothing to worry about. If you had hired one of those other hacks, you'd be up to your ass in low life right about now. Uh, noticed that, did you? I keenly aimed one of the shots through some soft tissue of one of them to hit the man behind him. That's an interesting theory you've got there. I'd suggest you keep it to yourself. Let's get moving. Stay close. I wouldn't want anything to happen to you. Well, here we are. No worse for wear, are you? I trust that if you need to cross Freeside again, you'll know who to hire. What do you have for me? So that's how it happens. Okay then, I'll have some guys pull him off the street when no one's looking. You've shown me something, so maybe you can help me with a matter that's a little more important. A lot of folks around these parts who've been here a while resent the sheer number of people that have come into the area since the strip was built. In turn, the newcomers, most of whom come from the NCR, have gotten ornery from being resented. Sometimes things get violent. This is one of those occasions. Recently, a few friends of mine were attacked, and I want you to find out who did it. Words come that they just woke up over at the old Mormon fort just north of here. Head on over, see if they remember anything. Good. I like that enthusiasm. Return when you have some information we can use. What's up? It can be bought. It can be found at Mick and Ralph's. Morning. What is it? Can't you see I want to be left alone with my friend here? Oh, that's different then. How can I help? I'll do anything to get the bastards that did this. Well, it happened at night, around 11. 
We'd recently made some caps off a bit of scrap we found and wanted to invest it wisely. As we were leaving the Wrangler, we must have taken a wrong turn and ended up in the squatter side of town. From out of nowhere, these big guys show up and start barking questions at us, wanted to know if we were locals. The kid there is about as proud as a local around here gets and started yelling back at him. Then all hell broke loose. Kid got the worst of it, sad to say. They were big guys, young too. No old geezers like me. Hell, none of them looked even half my age. I was mostly face down in the dirt, begging for my life when it happened, so I only got a quick look at them. I hope you find the bastards that did this. If you want, try asking my friend Wayne over there about them. He saw more than I did. Wayne, it's okay. The king sent him. That true? Did the king really send you? I don't really know what else I can add. They were a bunch of guys, better dressed than most freesiders, I guess. That help? Sorry I couldn't help more, especially since you're being so nice. Hey, wait, I just remembered something. I might have heard one of the guys that attacked us call another by name. We had just about had it when one of them said, Hey, Lou, we gotta go. At least I think he said Lou. It might have been something else. Now that I think of it, he said Lou something, something with a T. Tenant, that's what he called him, Lieutenant. He probably said Lieutenant, Wayne. The boy means well, but he's dumb as a mutant sometimes. Morning. Howdy. I've been around a while, currently working for the followers as a gun for hire, but it's getting rather dull. Aside from protecting them from the occasional thug looking to intercept supply shipments, there isn't much to do around here. The one researcher I liked who I could chat up about liquor got transferred. And the rest of the docs are pretty uptight about my kind of fun. I joined up looking for a decent paying job. Granted, the pay's all right, but they won't let me kick back and slog a brew at the end of the day. They're worried the filthy drunkies in detox seeing me drink will cause an immediate relapse. I say their rehab effort here is just a revolving door. I've been around long enough to observe the patterns of human behavior. Physical and mental anguish are especially exciting to explore. Hey, who doesn't enjoy a little pinch and squeal every once in a while? What do you have in mind? Longing makes the heart grow fonder. But I've always been a fan of hogtying my lovers to make sure they can't escape. And I may have answers. What starts in misery tends to stay there. Freeside wasn't freeside until six or seven years ago. That's when Mr. House's robots rolled out of the Lucky 38 and started pushing everyone who wouldn't join him off the Strip. Lots of folks died. Some scattered to the winds. The rest wound up in Freeside and seemed never to lose the habit of living like refugees. What about them? Pretty much the sort of gang you'd find anywhere else. Just with better clothes. The King himself, though? He's got that something special you can't put a finger on. Too bad he likes girls with skin. I reckon they care about getting water and electricity from the dam. And that's where it ends. The locals here are just an inconvenience to them. Something to step over or stomp down. They're here for the resources, plain and simple. Before or after the human race shot itself in the foot. I've been around long enough to have both opinions, see. Before the war, Mr. House was a famous captain of industry. Robotics, to be specific, seemed charming in interviews. Until he became a recluse. Since the war, though, <laughs> didn't make a peep for near 200 years. But when he came back, he came back strong and killed a lot of people. 
I don't know how they do it. They're like saints, those followers. If they didn't charge for their services, I'd think they was crazy. But nah, they're just naive. Warms their heart. Couple of rad scorpions, those two. Gloria is the stable one, but she'd slit your throat if there's a profit in it. Or rather, she'd tell her brother to do it for her. John Baptiste is one of the sicker humans I've had the displeasure of observing. What did you want to know? Bye. Are you here to drop off medical supplies? Leave them with the rest in the middle of the courtyard. Rates of injury and illness in Freeside are very high. Supplies don't last long. Medex, Radaway, and Fixer are Freeside essentials. I can't pay you for any supplies you bring in, but I could discount the charge for our services. Just come see me when you've got some supplies to turn in. So far, the Crimson Caravan won't cut us a deal. If you can convince them or some other merchant to work with us, I'll discount supplies to you. You might ask around at Mick and Ralph's, or go see the Garrets, though I suspect they're too busy poisoning Freeside to help it out. What do you want to talk about? More than rough. It's a damn mess. Freeside townies are constantly picking fights with NCR civilians. Thugs and thieves are always looking for a victim, and the local families are just sitting back making caps on the mess. Freeside is in dire need, but no one has been man enough to step up. The followers can only do so much to stem the tide. There is always something needing done. A few souls here in Freeside could be great assets to the community if they'd kick their addictions. We need a regular supply of medicine organized, but the Crimson Caravan wants too many caps for what we need. Lastly, tensions between the townies and NCR tourists have been going downhill fast lately. A lot of innocent people will get hurt if things blow up. Yes, old Bill Ronte and Jacob Hoff. They're not going to kick their habits on their own. Old Bill Ronte is an exceptionally skilled machinist. He could fix the problems we've been having with Freeside's water pump, if he sobered up. The Garretts hooked Jacob on chems when he was working for them. Ironic, since he used to homebrew detox chems. He's a natural chemist. In Freeside, the drunks and drug addicts flock in and around the Atomic Wrangler. I'd start there. Sobering them up and putting them back to work would go a long way toward helping Freeside. What do you want to talk about? The big man around here is the king. Not much happens in Freeside that he doesn't know about. He has the most influence locally, and some of his crew haven't helped the situation by harassing NCR citizens and charging double for water. Some NCR soldiers have been bringing in supplies, but none of it is going to Freeside locals. I've tried to speak to both sides to no avail. Great, what do you have? How much do you have to donate? Thanks, anything else? How much do you have to donate? Thanks, anything else? How much do you have to donate? Thanks. Anything else? Thanks for the donation. Every bit goes toward helping Freeside. Hey! Have you found anything out, or were you just here to chat? Bunch of soldier boys, huh? 
They usually don't come around these parts since their big base is on the other side of the strip. If they're coming over here now, it's got to be for a reason. I didn't want to believe the rumors that they're looking to take over Vegas, but now, if something big is going down, I'm sure rumors of it will have spread. Ask around, particularly in the squatter areas where the NCR folk hang. You might also mosey on over to the Mormon fort and chat Julie Farkas up. The followers tend to be in the know about these things. Just don't ask her what to do about it. She'll probably ask you to hug someone or something. Hi. We've got stuff we're not even allowed to sell, people. Only at Nick and Good to see you. Only a little. A friend of mine, Major Elizabeth Kieran, has been handing out supplies to the poor a little west of here. What about it? I know something's got them riled up, but I've been too busy with other matters to really look into it. If you're looking into the matter, talk to Elizabeth. She's in charge of the operations here in Freeside, though she won't open up to you right away. If Elizabeth holds out on you, tell her that I sent you. She should be a little more forthcoming if you mention my name. Was there anything else you wanted to talk about? Morning. You look like a person in need of a good meal. You wouldn't happen to be an NCR citizen, would you? Now, it's not that I don't believe you, but I'm gonna have to give you a little quiz to verify your citizenship status. That okay with you? That's a good attitude. I'm sure you'll do fine. These are just a few questions that just about anyone in the NCR would know. All right, here we go. First question. Who was the most popular president in NCR history? Peterson, Tibbet, Kimball, or Tandy? Uh-huh. Okay, second question. What was the original name of the NCR capital? Aradesh, Shady Sands, The Boneyard, or Vault 13? Right. Fine, then. Last question. What animal is on the NCR's flag? A two-headed bear, an eagle, a two-headed snake, or a two-tailed lion? Good. You passed with flying colors. I told you it'd be fine. I expect you're wanting to know about that meal then, huh? We're located up by the old train station in the northwest part of town. Just tell the guards hope and they'll let you through. Best of luck to you. Hold up. What's the password? Head on through. Here you go. I hope this helps. Hey. Welcome. There's food and water here for any citizen of the NCR. Please, have some. You're quite welcome. If you meet anyone who needs food or water in the area, please, tell them about this place. 
Yes? Was there something else you needed? Yes. I'm a major in the Supply Corps, which is where this food and water comes from. No, I'm afraid we don't. Don't you have a friend you wanted to bring in? You were right. But here, take another helping for your friend. It'll be our secret. Yes? Was there something else you needed? That's not really a pleasant topic of conversation. Let's just say we have our reasons. You know Julie? Not everyone in the NCR sees eye to eye with the followers. But they're okay in my book, mostly because of her. If you really want to know, we sent an envoy to the king, offering to coordinate the relief effort. In a manner of speaking, our envoy was brutally beaten and only barely survived. My superiors ordered the relief mission scrapped. I managed to get clearance to carry out the mission anyway, but with greatly reduced support. Now there's not enough supplies to go around, even if I wanted to serve the rest of Freeside, which I don't. That's all in the past now. I should get back to work. Say hi to Julie for me. Well, hey there. I heard that NCR soldier lady told you some wild story about them sending a messenger to us to work out some deal. That's bullshit, and it's nothing to bother the king with. More like they sent someone to spy on us, and he wasn't tough enough to last in Freeside. So do everyone a favor and keep your mouth shut about it, okay? That's a shame. Well, do what you want. Just don't expect it to matter. Personal space meaning anything to you? You find out something about them soldier boys yet? Sure can. What did you want to know? Near as I can tell, it was some sort of religious institution. Oh, I know it says school out front. But everything in here seems to be related to the worship of some guy from back in the day. People used to come here to learn about him, to dress like him, move like him, to be him. If that's not worship, I don't know what is. Not a whole lot to tell. There were only a few books left in here when we found it, and those were rotted away. There were some posters left that were pretty well preserved, which is how we know all this stuff was based on the same guy. The thing of it is, we don't even know what his name was. All the posters just referred to him as the King. Well, that and the giant sign outside. This place could have been the King's House of Dog Chow, and I still would have taken the name. But I like to think I keep the memory alive. As far as we can tell, the guy that built this place was considered the coolest of the cool and taught other people how to be more like him. People would come all around to learn how to sing, dance, dress, and even speak the way he did. Something like that, yeah. There were some working tapes here when we first got here, so we know what he sounded like. Sadly, they stopped working a few years back, so I sold them to a junk merchant who was passing through. Otherwise, I'd play some for you. All the outfits you see my guys wearing around were originally found in here, too along with more hair gel than you can shake a stick at. Sure thing. What'd you have in mind? I got Rex here from a salvager a few years ago. He was a little dinged up when I got him, but one of the followers fixed him right up. He's been acting peculiar for some time now. I took him to the followers and had him checked out, and they said his brain is bad or something. No, they said they don't have the tools to help him. I don't know. Maybe. 
If you found a way to help my poor Rex here, I'd be much obliged. Your best bet will be to talk to Julie Farkas over at the old Mormon fort north of here. Maybe you'll have better luck than I did. Whoa there. Not just anyone can be a king. First of all, we usually only accept people native to the area. Second, I have to approve, and I don't. You haven't shown me you've got what it takes to be a king yet. But if you're fixing to join something fierce, stick around, and if you play your cards right, things might change. We've tried to pass our philosophy on to the people of Freeside, but not everyone is ready to be a king. The kids love us, but the old timers tend to shy away and keep to themselves. And they probably couldn't pull off the look anyway. As for the others, some people just plain don't respect others. And that's a no-no. If there's one thing I won't tolerate, it's lack of respect. Sure thing. What'd you have in mind? Pace? He and I grew up together around here. We've been through a lot together. And there's no man I'd rather have at my side in a pinch. Don't judge him too harshly for trying to get some caps out of you. He probably took you for a squatter, looking for a place to settle down. There have been a lot of people moving into the area lately, and it's got some people riled. Can't blame them myself. There's only so much to go around. There's me, but I don't really like talking about myself. There's Julie Farkas and the other followers down at the old Mormon fort. The Garrett twins up at the Wrangler deserve mention. Wouldn't be right not mentioning the Van Graffs, I suppose. And while they're not important in the overall scheme of things, there's Mick and Ralph, too. Just don't tell them I said that. Who all did you want to know about? Sure thing. What'd you have in mind? All right. I'll see you later. See you, lady. You find out something about them soldier boys yet? Handing out supplies, like food and stuff? That ain't nothing to get ruffled over. You find anything else? Ah, that would explain the goons. They're here to keep people like my friends away from the food. That ain't something I support. No, sir. Wait a minute, wait a minute. They said what? Huh, that would explain why they're all riled at us. Seems like we have a big misunderstand. What the hell? King, we've got problems. Lay it on me. What's going on? There's a shootout going down near the train station. It's Pacer and some strangers. Might be NCR. What is that fool doing? I need you to head out there and try to defuse the situation. Tell them I'm willing to cooperate. really a good time. What did you want? Like he helped the envoy we sent? <laughs> no thanks. Then he should watch his back. We know for a fact that the envoy made it to their headquarters. Still, if the king's willing to deal with us, perhaps we can work something out. I'll tell my men to stand down.
king just sent a messenger over, saying these guys are off limits. He's probably already heard about what you did here. Looks like you get to be a hero. Enjoy it while it lasts. I heard all about what happened. Maybe it's time for a little more talking and a little less fighting. You've helped us plenty, so I'll tell you what. Just this once, aim whatever you want. And if I can make it happen, it's done. Don't rush it, though. Toss it around in your head a little. You only get one favor from the king. Hey. Personal space meaning anything to you, lady? Hey. Things have been a lot better since you helped with those soldier boys. Thanks again. So, what can I do for you? All right. I'll see you later. Things have been a lot better since you helped with those... Ask away. Normally, we don't let outsiders join, and you'd be the first female king ever. But I think I can make an exception in your case. From this day forward, you're one of us, and no one in Freeside will mess with you if they know what's good for them. In addition, if you want to do something about that hair of yours, talk to Sergio. I'll let him know you're coming. Perhaps more importantly, you've earned the right to wear something a little more stylish. Here, wear it proudly. You seen Dixon around? He said he'd be back today. Julie? Oh, I love Julie. She's such a nice lady. One time I was working on the water pump and she came over, put her hand on my shoulder and told me I was doing a great job. <laughs> great job, she says. I just choked up and didn't say nothing. Compliments are so rare these days. Drop drinking? <laughs> I've been drinking for a straight month. Listen, I, I've tried to stop, but the withdrawal symptoms are so bad, I feel like I'm gonna die. I, I can't stop now. Dixon sells me booze dirt cheap. It does the job, but it tastes like paint thinner, and I feel like I'm gonna die if I stop drinking for a day. I swear that guy's trying to kill me, but what can I do? Drinking other booze doesn't cure the sickness like he is. Looking for a fix, man? I got what you need. Have a look, baby. Another satisfied cast? Yeah, man. Those cats are out of their domes, addicted to my shit. They can't get enough. Pretty hilarious to watch. Really? Ah, oh, you're such a saint. You know what? I might be willing to stop, if there's something in it for me. You 
Wait, man. You can't go around saying shit like that. Okay, I get your point. You won't have to worry about me supplying those two anymore. Till next time. Oh, you have chems, buddy? I could really use a fix. Julie's a saint, but I don't need help. I feel young and strong. As long as I get my chems. Why stop? I feel great. No worries. My guy will be here soon enough. Just wait. If I had two caps to scrape together, I'd buy the materials to make my own. But my damn hands won't stop shaking. This guy named Dixon. Something about him seems sketchy, but I can't stop now. Last time I stopped, I felt like I was gonna turn inside out. At this point, I'm mostly buying his stuff just so I don't feel sick. Speaking of which, do you have any spare caps? What? I need a fix now! Fine. If you really care so much, then give me some shots of fixer to calm down these shakes. I'm gonna need at least ten shots to get me through the week. From there, the followers should be able to help. I think you're right. I've been through worse. I'll go to the fort and see if the followers can watch over me while I recover. Come on, man, I'm dying here. Oh, Julie, I've really screwed things up. I'll head over to the fort and get some rest. This has gone on too long. Hello. Welcome. I saw them. Thank you so much for helping them. This means a lot to the followers of the Apocalypse. You have our thanks. If you need some medical supplies, come see me. With Jacob working with us, we should be able to spare a stim or fixer once a day. Rex? It breaks my heart every time I see him. He's such a good dog. Yes, a few months ago. We had to tell him there was nothing we could do. No, Rex's condition is way beyond anything we can handle. He requires brain surgery and some sophisticated cybernetics work, too. There's an old scientist named Dr. Henry, who reportedly specializes in this sort of procedure. He'd probably be your best bet. Last I heard, he was living up in Jacobstown, far to the northwest. 
No problem. We're pretty short-handed as it is. I've got my eye on you. You crossed the kings. You'll regret it. Things have been a lot better since you helped with those soldier boys. Thanks again. So, what can I do for you? She said, what? Why didn't she just say so when I was there? Actually, come to think of it, I was pretty angry when I went down there. I vaguely recall something about upending a few tables, maybe knocking out one of her doctors. Anyway, that's incredible news. Only thing is, there's too much going on around here for me to make a trip like that. And I need all of my guys just to keep things settled here. You seem to be awfully interested in my boy Rex here. And you've done some good work for me already. I'll tell you what. You promised to get Rexy here to that doctor, and I'll lend him to you. What do you say? I can't thank you enough. Now, there's a few things you should know about old Rex here, if you're going to be traveling together. First, he hates rats. Can't stand the things. Giant rats, mole rats, doesn't matter. He catches a whiff of one, and he's off like a shot after him. He's normally pretty obedient, but you might have to chase him some if he goes after one of the little varmints. Second, he doesn't like hats. Or the people wearing them. Don't ask. I have no idea why. Maybe because it rhymes with rats. That should be it, though. Other than the occasional bad spot when his brain starts hurting him, that is. But I'm hoping you will see to that. I wish you both luck. Take care of my Rex now, you hear? Rex, this is your new master. Protect her as you would me. Hi. Is there something else I can do for you? It's neural degradation. Biomed gel can only preserve a living brain for so long, so you'll need to find a replacement. I haven't left Jacobstown in years, but there was one woman in Novak, uh, Gibson. I remember her living with a pack of hounds. Aside from her, I know that the fiends and Caesar's legion fight alongside dogs. There could be viable specimens among them, if you can get to them. Promising, but I won't be able to synthesize the drug anytime soon. I really should get back to my work. Yes, yes. You like the sight of your own blood? your own blood.
Is there something else I can do for you? Very well. Show me what you brought so that I can analyze its potential. Big brain on this one. All right, let's see. Damn. Heavy amounts of the chemicals used in the drug Turbo are present. Transplanting this brain will make Rex faster than he was before. Have a seat. This will take a while. Hi. If you're looking for medical help, try the other doctors. I'm just a researcher. Not even a particularly good one. Oh, you know, finding alternative treatments for common illnesses and injuries. Stim packs, out-of-barrel cacti, and other fantastic improbabilities. As far as fruitless wastes of time go, it's quite noble in its aims. For the past hundred years or so, the followers have managed to get by using salvaged medical supplies from the old world. But the side effect of medical success is that more people live longer. Funny how that works. Eventually, we'll run out of hospitals to loot. We need new ways to produce those supplies, or maybe old ways, if this research goes anywhere. I'm enthusiastic about helping people, but nihil no way soup so late. Caesar can cite Cato to suit his purpose. Many people have spoken Latin. Some of them were quite pleasant. It's unfortunate that the language is now associated with the gentleman across the river. Not from the Legion, if that's what you're getting at. Books, sheet music, gladiator movie holotapes, bits and pieces here and there. The followers have extensive libraries, but we all draw water from the same old well. Even Caesar. Ah, I don't know anything that the others couldn't tell you. Caesar was one of the followers, before my time, of course. He wanted to rebuild the new world in the image of the old. A sad story of good intentions gone bad. In that regard, he's hardly unique. If you set aside his leadership capabilities, extensive knowledge, and ruthless cunning, he's just another jerk who steps on people to get his way. Oh, sorry. There's nothing new under the sun. If Agave and Mesquite were that miraculous, the locals would have figured it out a few thousand years ago. Certainly. Not all followers are people persons. Besides, someone needs to do research. I have no problem with Julie sticking me back here. Out of sight, out of mind. There are worse things one can be, though I do admit it is a bit boring. Though it has a noble goal, I don't think this research will yield much fruit. No pun intended. No offense intended, but why should I go anywhere with you? Hmm. That seems appropriately resolute and yet vague. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt and go with you, but let me be clear about something. If you plan to help Caesar's Legion, this is going to be a brief relationship. I may not have all the answers for how to fix Freeside's problems, but Caesar taking control isn't part of the solution, fair? You have quite the menagerie at your disposal. If you can get the posse down to small gang size, I'll happily go with you. What's up? See you around. Hey, thanks for getting Bill Ronte fixed up. I was really getting sick of paying for water. Now, what can I do for you? 
Five hundred caps and it's yours. Here you go. We don't have the stills and equipment to supply the amount of meds they're looking to purchase. You could check with other wasteland merchants, but I think your best bet would be the Atomic Wrangler. They've got a bunch of stills and a seemingly endless supply of grain alcohol, which could be used as anesthetic or disinfectant. Come back anytime. Chum, welcome back. Really now? Well, this is news. We could possibly supply what they need, but they would need to supply us in kind. They have the tech know-how to make our stills work more efficiently. Pure alcohol means we can get our customers drunk quicker. Getting our customers drunk quicker means more caps spent at the tables and stuffing slots, if you know what I mean. Plus, the extra alcohol can serve as surgical disinfectant for their needs. The followers are a good lot. They've stitched up our boys in the past. Good. We can supply them with all the medics they need. For the fixer, we'll only be able to send over some basic drug components. We're not in the business of getting people off drugs, so we don't really dabble in that side of things. The followers should be able to whip some up with what we have available, though. They just need to agree to fix up our stills and keep them maintained, plus cover the cost for raw materials needed to make the alcohol. We've got the basics covered, but now you mention it, we have had unusual requests from some of our wealthier customers. If you can recruit escorts to match these customers' proclivities, I'd be willing to pay you finder's fees. Our wealthiest client has a thing for ghouls and a thing for cowboys. He wants an escort who can satisfy both fetishes. Plenty of customers have said they'd be willing to pay extra for a suave talker, someone who can fake the boyfriend experience real good. And then there's these disgusting robot fetishists you may have heard about. Well, those creeps want a sex bot. Have you ever run across a sex bot? Not that I'd ever want one within a hundred feet of me, but I gotta be a businessman about it. Just don't rough up the merchandise before delivery. You break it, you bought it. Okay, you got yourself a deal. Find escorts to fill the positions, and I'll pay double. Just direct them to the Wrangler. I'll pay you when they show up. See ya. I hear you've been helping out around town. It's much appreciated, friend. Interesting. Well, you're gonna need to speak with my brother, James. He handles all of the trading contracts and general operations. I have some work I need handled. Back before we instituted the caps up front rule, we used to allow customers tabs. Well, needless to say, a few customers snuck out without paying their bills. We need someone to collect. The job would pay a percentage. If you bring all their debts back, we'll give you a cut of each. 25% is more than fair. It would add up to 150 caps if you bring them all in. All right, 50-50 it is. But you better bring back all of the caps. If we hear you crossed us, the next bounty hunter will be coming for you. Great. There are three people who need to be tracked down. A real mixed basket of fruits. Their names are Grex, Santiago, and Lady Jane. Grex is a bit cracked, but mostly harmless. 
Just don't mention anything about his lazy eye. He owes 138 caps and should still be around Freeside. Lady Jane fancies herself a high roller, but she's just another dirtbag NCR prospector. I'm not sure where to find her. I hear she's run goods for the followers of the apocalypse in the past, but other locals might know more. She owes us 250 caps. Santiago is a suave son of a bitch, but a total pansy when it comes to fisticuffs. He owes 212 caps and should be around Freeside as well. Anything else you need? Yep. Hello. Howdy. They already have that pig McCaffrey working for them. Do they need another guard? Uh, I've escorted my share of idiot tourists around Freeside. Too much trouble for what it pays. I'm all boot knives and leather, friend. And a ghoul besides. What kind of weirdo wants what I've got? Weirdos into bullwhips and necrosis, huh? <sighs> Doesn't sound half bad. What am I thinking? I'm no whore, and I ain't about to hand my ass over to some penny ante hustler like he owns me. Mmm. They do have a damn good selection of hooch over at the Wrangler. If I get to choose my customers, if I get to be a little rough with them, if my cut is fair, and if I get that discount, that just might work. Tell the Garretts I'll stop by to work out terms. See ya. Morning. Welcome back, friend. That's phenomenal! Who did you find? They supply Freeside with drugs and liquor. From my point of view, they're just better organized pushers. Upgrading their stills would increase their supply of liquor and chems. How does that help Freeside? Good point. We wouldn't be paying anything for their supplies, just a portion of our food waste to make ethanol. We get food from nearby wasteland farmers in exchange for medical services, so we could put our caps back into helping Freeside. Tell the Garretts we'll keep their stills running if they provide us with supplies. Thank you for arranging this. You've been a godsend. That's over. Hey. Hey, man. Can you spare a few caps? That all depends on who's asking. Whoa. Yeah. I guess the Garrett sent you after me. Look. I've got the caps right here. Just don't hurt me. Okay, here. That's everything I've got except the clothes on my back. I'm sorry about this. Hey. 
anything. Take it. Just don't kill me, man. Huh. A scum humping water baron did this to me. No one trash talks the eye. I won't. Thanks for not killing me. How are you today? Santiago is fabulous. Santiago does not owe anyone. Santiago is a freeside VIP. Indeed, Santiago is a poet among pretenders. If you're here to collect for the Garrets, Santiago is debt free. I didn't think she was upset enough to have me killed. Here are the capsule. I do the Santiago act to get out of paying for services every once in a while. I didn't think it could possibly get me killed. I am honored they would consider me. I'll start immediately. Come on back if you have any interesting news. Why, Rexy, you look all better, boy. Good as new. Did my Rexy get a new brain? You're a man of your word, no doubt about it. I can't thank you enough. If you want, hold on to Rex for a little while longer. I'm sure he'd enjoy that. Was there anything else you wanted? All right. I'll see you later. Personal space meaning anything to you, lady? Like that? Hello. Lovely to meet you. In that case, I suppose you're here to collect. I apologize, but I simply do not have enough caps on me to cover the debt. If someone were to recover my caravan from that cave, I could easily pay in full. But who would bother with such a mess? I'm short 90 caps or so. But I have a few cartons of cigarettes and some sensor modules I could put toward my debt. At this point, I'll have to return to California to start anew. I haven't got a cap to my name. What can I get you, friend? I don't care how you handled those lumps of human refuse, but you got the job done. We need you to hunt down another person. That son of a bitch McCaffrey stole a ton of caps and ran off to Vegas. I guess the fact that we farmed out his usual work to you pissed him off. No one steals from the Garrett twins. If you can kill that bastard and bring back as much as you can, you'll be paid very well. Good. Just stop on back when he's dead and you'll be rewarded handsomely. 
Bring his hat as proof of the kill. Bye. Morning. You look new to Freeside, so here's a little advice, friend. Don't go past the Southgate greeter without talking to it first. Those bots are programmed to vaporize anyone who enters the fenced-in area without authorization from the greeter. The name's Old Ben. I've been living in Freeside since the day I was born. I've done a bit of everything around here. Courier, butcher, crier, escort, gun for hire. Some of which I'm not proud of, but I do my best to help around town when needed. Exactly one of the reasons I got out of that job. Too many shifty characters looking to have someone else move their hot items. My father ran a butcher shop here in town. But business went downhill when another vendor started selling this strange meat at half our prices. You're telling me, not long after my father's shop went under and he passed away from the loss, people around town started experiencing shakes. No one gets shakes like that unless they're eating human flesh. But no one would believe me. The sick bastard gradually went insane and passed away. Wasn't long before someone moved into the guy's place and found half-buried human remains in the crawl space. I didn't bother saying, told you so. After a while, I made enough money to get a passport into Vegas. Back then, you could get approved for entry for a fraction of what it costs now. Well, I got a job working as a crier outside of the tops, advertising for the local talent performing at the casino. That didn't last long. Well, being a suave young guy, I chatted up the ladies from time to time, and one of the manager's girls started to take a liking to me. I never touched the woman, but the jealous prick decided it was my time to go. He framed me by saying I'd stolen from the casino. Sure enough, a few grand was missing from the casino vault. I have to assume the bastard stole the funds and figured I was a convenient fall guy. Yeah, but what can you do? I was stripped of my casino apartment and all of my belongings and booted back into Freeside. From there, I didn't have a lot of career options, as my rep was destroyed. So the escort job sort of fell into my lap. No pun intended. Well, I suppose you could look at it that way, but I was packing a whole different kind of heat. No, escort just sounds better than man whore. Yep, I was damn good at my job too. But after a while, I just felt like a piece of meat and had to quit. When I quit the escort job, I had enough money to buy a pistol belt and some other gear. Bodyguards make a good, honest living, and I had the wits and physical build to handle most thugs. After saving a few tourists from trouble, I got a reputation for being a stand-up guy again, and after a decade, managed to save up enough to retire. All right. I'm retired. But life has been a bit dull without some kind of action. What's the job? Ah, I get you. So you think because of my past escort work, I'd be interested in that kind of thing. I got out of that work because it just made me feel empty inside. What makes you think I would ever go back to that degradation?
I never put much thought into the well-being my clients got out of my services. I suppose they only get as much as I put into it. Tell Garrett I'd be happy to start at the Wrangler immediately. This should be a nice change of pace from retirement. Yep. Submit to a credit check, or present your passport before proceeding to the gate. Trespassers will be shot. Thank you, madam. You may proceed. Howdy, partner. You've come for a piece, haven't you? Welcome to New Vegas. Do I look destroyed, partner? <laughs> it's harder to put old Vic in Boot Hill than you might think. I wouldn't be much use stuck inside just one Securitron. No, if the one I'm in turns up a goner, I just find another. Fine as cream gravy. Consider me your personal welcome wagon. Now hear this. The head honcho of New Vegas, Mr. House, is itching to make your acquaintance. Just head for the Lucky 38. It's the big old tower shaped like a roulette spinner. Well, now, it was Mr. House who made Securitrons like me. Seems the least I can do is pass on his message. Don't dawdle. He'll be waiting. That's it. Please obey all weapon laws. Going to have words with your commanding officer after this. Why? Hey there, friend. A bit of advice. You look like you could use some protection. Lucky for you, I got what you need. My stock and trade? All kinds of easy-to-hide weapons for slipping into and out of casinos. They won't give you a second glance. Things guards can't spot when they're patting you down or checking for iron at your hip. Take a look at these beauties. Hey, no one but Omeritas are allowed to carry guns into Gamora. Check your weapons with me. You'll get these back on your way out.
What the fuck are you looking at? Lay the tables, test your luck. Lay the tables, test your luck. I think there is something wrong with that dog. I'm glad they don't just let any motherfucker through the gate. Free side smells like shit. Fuck not at home. Must be cozy. I got kicked out of Ultra Lux the other day. Man, that place gives me the fucking freeze. Welcome to Gamora. How can I help you? Have a good time. What the fuck are you looking at? Well, what do we have here, huh? Let me guess. You've heard about the mistress who makes all your fantasies come true. So you followed the call of your desires, all the way to the arms of Joanna. Moi. Now that you've found me, I wonder, do you have what it takes? Oh, confident. I like that. So, what do you want to do with what you've got? Oh my, aren't you something else? I guess you'll have to see for yourself what I can do, huh? Consider it on the house, honey. All right, honey. What do you want to know? Yes. Oh, nothing special, hun. I'm the best lay in Gamora, and that's all you need to know. I like that you're here. Doesn't that make you happy? I... look. We can't talk here. If you think you can help me, follow me to my room, please. Follow me, hun. Let's meet in my room, hun. Follow me. What the fuck are you looking at? OK, 
Okay. We can talk here. I'm... I don't know what's happening to me. I can't feel a goddamn thing anymore. Empty and poisoned like the wasteland. I'm afraid I won't make it out of here. Not without Carlitos. If the Medex doesn't kill me first, Kachino or another Omerta will. <laughs> I look pathetic, huh? The great Joanna. And now... I don't even know why I'm telling you this. He was an Omerta that fell in love with me. They don't ever mix with people outside the family, you know? He was planning to escape with me, but Kachino found out about us. So he did something, talked, I don't know. And Carlitos disappeared. Kachino doesn't give a shit about rules, only cares to feed his perversions. He lusted for me. He's done things to me. Look, I'm stuck here. I know that. Carlitos is the only thing that kept me going. And now I don't have anything left. If he's alive, he's long gone. The Omertas want him dead now. If you meet him anywhere, I'd do anything to get him back and escape this hell. Although I'm not keeping my hopes up. Hun, nobody's given me a free thing before. What's it going to be for you? Caps? Sex? Straps? What? What? Are you serious? Well, I'm not complaining, hon. Thanks so much for your help. Okay. We can talk here. What do you want to know about those sons of bitches? They run the place as a center for all their dirty scams and extortions. Gambling, sex, drugs. They'll use whatever works to exploit your weaknesses. Hooker, customer, it doesn't matter. Everyone here is a pawn to the Omertas. Playing and dying by their rules. Nero's the pack leader, and Big Saul's his right hand. What Nero wants... Big Saul does. Then there's... Kachino. He's a filthy monster. I've been with perverted men, but Kachino's done things to me that... Even other Omertas would also want to kill him if they knew what he does. He's broken so many of their rules that I don't know how he still breathes. Yes? Kachino doesn't give a shit about rules, only cares to feed his perversions. He lusted for me. He's... D Look. Okay, see you soon. I love these robots with their friendly little policemen faces. Sure, they still rough you up, but they look so happy. Hey, come on, lady. I'm trying to put on a show here. All right, then make it snappy, kid. This isn't exactly a lucrative career enterprise here. The name's Knight, Billy Knight. And this here's what a lifelong career in comedy will get you, oi. That's exactly my point, kid. Exactly my point! If you believe my mother since she first laid eyes on me, first thing she said was, boy, that's a funny-looking kid. I guess I got a face only a mother could love, because no one else would give me the time of day. Hey, maybe you can help me. See, I can never tell when it's lunchtime. It breaks better than a shot. Less chance of lead poisoning. Hey, if you know any gigs hiring, I'll work cheap. Real cheap. I'll take peanuts. I'll take the shells! Sure, later.
Hey. Uh-huh. Hi, I'm Sarah, Sarah Weintraub. Welcome to the finest vault hotel in the whole world. Carlitos, huh? Yeah, I do. Try the diner. But don't start any trouble, you hear? Hey, do you mind? I'm trying to drink myself to the ground right here. Scram. What did you say? I mean, Joanna sent you. Please, tell me. Is she all right? When did you see her? What does she have to say? Questions can wait. Joanna can't. And then she has to know. I'm ready to help her escape once and for all. Am I even scared of Kachino and all those fuckers? Joanna and I are dead anyway if we don't get the hell out of here. What, you think I can just waltz in there and take her away? She's there, doll, now, okay? Besides, I step in Gamora and I'm as good as dead, you hear? You don't just leave the Emeritus unless it's in a body bag. Deal. Come back with news soon, you hear? All right. About what do you want to know? You know, straightening up bets, Gamora, success, women, all that shiny stuff. Now, if you have to ask, you probably don't know shit about who you're dealing with, huh? Listen up. Watch out for Kachino, that's all I'm saying. I didn't just spend time there, I lived there, okay? I was family. All I wanted, I had. Caps, booze, drugs, women, power. You name it. It was heaven. Until you find that all the glitter is made of broken dreams and all the praise hides a knife pointing at your ribs. All right. What do you want to know? If you're smart, the strips all flash and noise. If not, luck's your dame, your hot date until you find she's a cheap whore high on jet. Ha! <laughs> There's only one important player in town, and that's Mr. House. Everyone keeps clean around him. The families, the barons, fuck, even the NCR. Till next round. Hey there, gorgeous. I knew you'd be back soon enough. What? Have you seen him? Have you talked to him? He does? Wait, this changes everything. I can't leave my girls here. And where would we go even if we escape? No, it's too risky. We'll all end up dead. You sound so sure. Damn it all. You better not make me regret this later. But the Omertas will want us dead. What are we going to do about that? To be free, and with Carlitos again. Tell him that I still... I... never mind. Let Carlitos know that we'll be ready when you are.
Thank you so much for your help. Okay, see you soon. Hello. Hey, it's you. What's the news? Hey, that's great. What's going on? She is? Listen, no time to waste. Help her get to Freeside. That's our ticket out of this fucking city. I'll meet you there between midnight and dawn. But we could use some backup. We only got one chance to get this right, you hear? These guys in Freeside, good shots, right? They owe me big time. Tell them that Carlitos is back to collect his chips. They'll know what to do. She'll have to go disguised. Gamora's packed around midnight, and the bouncers won't notice just another patron leaving the joint. I'll be near the entrance, but I need to keep out of sight. The Emeritus have contacts, and they're still looking for me. All right, see you soon. Let me guess, you want to know my secret, how I got my beard to grow in so thick. Sorry, but I can't tell you that. Trade secret. Depends on why you're asking. I see. Well, he can count on Little Beard and me for an assist. Tell us where and when, and we'll be there. Let's just say it had something to do with the beards, and leave it at that. The beards will be there. Yep. Just talk to Big Beard next to me, pal. Whoever's got the biggest wh whiskers does the talk. Hey, chum. Welcome back. Hey, that's great. We'll get some supplies sent over today as a show of good faith. Once our stills are upgraded, we'll never be short on liquor for our patrons. If Jacob Hoff is sober, we might even have a few new drinks on tap. Most might view us as drug-dealing enablers around here, but honestly, we care about our patrons. It's bad business for people to get addicted. We've got enough crime in Freeside without a bunch of strung-out junkies robbing traders and gamblers to afford their next fix. And who would that be? I've heard some stories of that old guy. I'm amazed he's still alive with how much he's been through. If the stories are true, he'll be a valuable commodity here at the Wrangler. I appreciate the find. The best place to start would be with Ralph, at Mick and Ralph's over on the east end of Freeside. Other than that, your guess is as good as mine. Imagine that! What's his name and when's he start? A she, huh? Well, I guess the customer who made that request can't get everything he wants. Hell, who knows? He might not even notice the difference. Later. Hey, what's up? Follow me, hun. What's up? 
Yes. Hey, what's up? Yes. Okay, I got clothes I can use for that. When you give the word, I'll let the other girls know and we'll meet you at the lobby. Hey, what's up? I'm ready. Just give the word and we'll meet you at the lobby in an hour. Okay. See you soon. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Come on, people are looking at us. We're ready. Let's get the hell out of here before they recognize us. It's now or never. Let's go. You've made it. Thanks so much for your help. I owe you more than... Wait, what's that? Well, well, well. If it isn't our whore Joanna. And I don't believe this. Carlitos. We had you and the whore clock from the start. We thought Carlitos would be long gone by now. He should have fled with the caps he stole from the family. We Omerdas don't forget. And now's time to pay for your offenses. What mission? What are you talking about? All the dough? Kachina once said this traitor flipped with thousands off the record. Why wasn't I informed? Surrender. You don't seriously think that you can take on my crew, do you? They're not... are they? Okay, I'll deal with them later, after I deal with you by myself. I... I've got to make sure our boss hears about this, otherwise you'd be dead. I don't know how we pulled this off. For a minute there, I thought we were not going to make it. Without you, we'd have been in the losing end. Thank you so much for your help, friend. I take care of my debts. How can I repay you, friend? Really? You're one of a kind. 
Okay, friend. I hope to see you again. Far away from this place. You truly are something else. Those Omeritas look like they were going to kill Carlitos on the spot. I have nothing to give you except my thanks. And, well, if I were you, I'd not mess around with the Omeritas anymore. But listen to this. Kachino has said things that make me think there's a big and nasty operation in the works. Something about getting even with Mr. House. Just thought you'd like to know. Okay. I'm getting Carlitos as far away from here as possible. Hope to see you again. Bye. Hey, no one but Omeritas are allowed to carry guns. You'll get these. What the fuck are you looking at? Kachino, get out of my face. Hello, and welcome to Gamora. What can I help you with today? I sure do, but loose lips <laughs> sink ships. All right, you look pretty trustworthy. Gossip is one thing, dirt on the family is something else totally. I'm not sure what's going on at Lucky 38. That place is weird. Nobody ever goes in. Nobody ever comes out. It's hard to believe that not too long ago, most of the families on the Strip were little more than warring tribes. The Omeritas even had a big war with the Khans once upon a time. Not much of a rumor, but I hear the Tops is always looking for new talent. Lord knows they've needed it for a long time. I've heard some pretty shady rumors about the Ultralux. I'm not sure what the deal is, but although they try to put on airs, that place is just plain creepy. Maybe it's the masks. Sorry, that's all the news. Feel free to head to our club, Brimstone. Bye. What the fuck are you looking at? What do you want with me? Gamora is always open for business. I hear you've been asking questions about me, dickweed. What the fuck do you want? I banged Lot's wife and licked a salty ass. The fuck do I look like? I'm the one asking the questions here. Now tell me why you've been dropping my name before I get some muscle over here and we find a private place to talk. Business? What the fuck do you mean, business? You looking to get yourself burned? Now you start talking real clear, and I mean fucking crystal clear, because I'm about to lose my patience. Joanna, that bitch spreading lies about me. I've got a lesson to teach her about loose lips.
staying low. Hey. The fuck are you looking at? You again? What the fuck do you want? Later. You again? What the fuck do you want? Where the fuck did you get that? Okay, listen, buddy. That's some dangerous shit you got there. That book can get me killed if the wrong people see it. Let's talk. What do you want? What can I do for you? I can pay you for it, of course. I also have some information about the family's business that you might find interesting. Between you and I, we can break up what they're planning, maybe save some lives. Mine included, of course. Oh, here's some caps. Now give me the journal. All right, there we go. So let me tell you what I know about the family's business. The bosses, Big Sal and Nero, have been working for a while on this. They're arming themselves like an army, using this new guy, Troik. They also brought in a specialist named Clandon. At least that's what they introduced him as. I got no fucking idea. They let him have the run of the place, though. He seems like a nice guy, but he makes me nervous. He's a little arrogant, but he's too nice. Too open. I've never seen him fucking or gambling. Everyone has a vice, but this guy seems like the Pope. Okay, toss him at me. He's a skittish little fucker. Spends half the day pumping his body full of chems and the other half pumping hookers with his willy. He has some kind of connections, so he's able to smuggle huge shipments of weapons into the strip. The bosses got him by the short hairs. We covered up a hooker he killed while flying on some psycho, so he gets his guns in exchange for not ratting. Okay, toss them at me. No, just that it involves guns and muscle. Also that it's big. Very big. Only Nero and Big Saul know everything, and they ain't telling. Okay, you can find me here or upstairs in my room. I'll let the muscle know you're a friend of mine. That should let you get around a little easier. Glad they don't let just any motherfucker through the gate. Three side smells like shit. Find yourself a girl, or a guy. Have some fun.
Gamora is always open for business. The NCR took back Nelson. Maybe they can... Hey, nice to meet you. Do you need help with something? A little bit of this and a little bit of that. I'm a close friend of some of the family around here. I do some independent contracting around the casino, and they set me up with this great room. Casino. <laughs> yeah, I've heard the name. Not sure why he'd send you to me. Is he helping out with room service or something? Goodbye. Howdy. Who are you? I didn't do anything. Leave me alone. I don't see how that's your business. I'm just a guest here, having a little fun. Oh, man. I don't even like to think about it. All that goddamn blood. It was just in the hotel, like any other night. I took some chems with the girl I was with, but I never black out. I did this time, though. Next thing I knew, I woke up, she was lying next to me, stabbed dead. There was a knife next to the bed, and I was covered in her blood. I keep a little switchblade tucked away with me. You never know when you might find some trouble. All right, have at it. That night, mostly buff out, I like to cut it with a little bit of jet and wash it down with some whiskey. That was my standard Saturday night. What? Yeah, you're right. I wonder what was up with that. See ya. Gamora has the loosest slots on the strip. Fiends are bad for business. NCR should do their fucking job. Find yourself a girl or a guy. Bosses don't, don't like no trouble family. in their place. Hey, you're Cachino's friend. You got business with me? We run a hotel. What do you think our business is? Ah, Trike. What you want? Some more jet? A fresh batch of girls? Maybe a guy or two this time. What, that he's a murdering jethead? Not a new story around here.
Yeah, I see where you're coming from. Okay, tell Troy he can hit the road. All right, come back any time. Find yourself a girl or a guy. Have some fun. I think there's something wrong with that dog. You again. Make it quick. Holy shit. Really? Okay, I'll help you. But I'm getting the hell out of here first chance I get. They're keeping them in a little utility section down off the basement. I don't know what they're arming themselves for, but I know it isn't for the good of mankind. I'm pretty proud of myself. It's a stroke of genius if I could be so modest. The whole arrangement starts with an old buddy of mine in the Republic. He's responsible for packing and shipping supplies to the NCR on the Strip. He marks some containers as food and medical and packs them with guns and other shit. From there, it took just a couple of greased palms to get someone to let me cherry pick a container or two out of every shipment. Easy as pie. Okay, try and be fast about it. As a little pet project, I've been making some thermite. Thermite burns as hot as the devil's asshole and can melt through just about anything. I've been keeping it so if the family betrays me, I can hopefully do some damage before I end up dead or in jail. Okay, here's the thermite and a key to the room where the guns are stored. Place the thermite on the crates in the room. I rig the light switch outside the room to kick off a spark big enough to hold the thermite. That should turn that shit into molten slag. As soon as we're done talking, I'm gonna make myself like a ghost. I don't want to be anywhere near here when the bosses find out. I'm pretty proud of myself. The whole... Alright, let's. I don't know... I've made a lot of contacts over the years. I have some friends back in California that can get their hands on just about anything. Mostly, I've been calling in every last favor I have. Okay, I know the stuff inside and out. What do you want to know? Okay, cool. Gamora is always open for business. Hey, what can I do for you? All right, let's have them. Yeah, this is Clandon. This guy's one sick motherfucker. The way I see it, you have a few options. Maybe you could use what's on these tapes to get him by himself. Or maybe you could use them to leverage him out of the casino. Okay, toss them at me. Okay, you can find me here or upstairs in my room. I'll let the muscle know you're a friend of mine. Hey, what can I do for you? Well, what the fuck are you talking to me for? Go destroy the damn guns so we can move on.
Prim has a new sheriff. Good to see you again. Hope you're winning some money in here. I think I should kill you before you have a chance to show those tapes to anyone. What do I have to lose? I guess you've made your choice then. Time to die. You like that? I think there is something wrong with that dog. Be sure to check out the courtyard. Glad they don't let just any motherfucker through the gate. Freeside smells like shit. Traveling is making me thirsty. I got. Hey, what can I do for you? Whoa, you managed to pull that off? Solid work. That ought to gum up the boss's plans. Oh, is that right? Was that your handiwork? Well, I can't say I'm sad to see him go. He gave me the fucking creeps. Now we cut off the head of the serpent. Big Saul and Nero have to die. As long as they're alive, they can start up their plans again. All you've managed to do is stall them. I guarantee you they have contingencies. 
They're a little bit upset about what's been done to muck up their plans. They tasked me to find out who's responsible. There isn't gonna be another chance to get both of them together in the same room. I'll slip you a gun, and we can take them out. All right, I'll take care of them. Just give me the word when to start shooting. When they're gone, I'm gonna run this joint. Don't worry, I'll take care of this place. Hurry and get ready. I'll be waiting for you there when you're ready. Hey, I'll take care of them when you're ready. Just say the word. I suggest doing it while they're talking. Let's have some drop words. On. Take a seat on the couch. Over here! I'm gonna... Glad they don't let just any motherfucker through the gate. This side smells like shit. Hey, thanks for all the hard work back there. I'm gonna run a tight ship here, don't you worry. Bye. So the Garrus sent you to track me down. What a joke. Now why the hell should I do that? You're below me, kid. I've been killing scum twice your size since before your mother squeezed you out. Well, that sounds like a bit of a bargain. I get to walk free with the Garrus thinking I'm dead. Sure, you can have my hat. I can always buy another with the caps I've got left. It would have been more fun fighting it out, though. See you later, kid. Man, Jacob's absinthe is phenomenal stuff. I don't think I've slept this well in ages. If you haven't tried it yet, he's been supplying the Wrangler with the stuff. So, what can I get you? Are you some kind of machine fetishist or something? 
<laughs> well, the only place I know of locally would be Cerulean Robotics. But that place has been overrun by vermin for years. If you want to check the place out, you can find it on the west side of Freeside. The entrance is on the back side of the building. Just watch out for thugs. The rats aren't the only vermin you need to worry about. Well, I don't know of any, but if you give me a few days and some caps, I think I could probably make one on my terminal. All right, come back in a couple days, and I should have it ready for you. Thanks for stopping in. Playing debt collector for the guards, huh? I guess someone has to do their dirty work. Yep, here you go. You'll need to use a terminal to upload the data to the robot. Thanks for stopping in. Fully integrated security technotronic officer active and reporting for duty. Yes, ma'am. Fisto reporting for duty. Please assume the position. I am programmed for your pleasure. Please assume the position. Fisto will report to the Atomic Wrangler for further orders. Yes, ma'am. Good day. So it turns out the Almertus were into some serious shit. I always suspected that crew was dirty. Yes! Where's his hat? This is great news. No one screws with the Garrett twins and gets away with it. I need to find a place on the wall for this. And for your reward, here's 150 caps. I trust there were also some valuables on McCaffrey. Also, we would like to set you up with a room. You can have the corner room, rent free. It was McCaffrey's. Now that he's dead, we're happy to let you use it. Thanks for helping us. Yep. Welcome back, friend. What can I get you? You did? Ha, damn! I've been looking for one of those for years. For my customers, I mean, I'm not into that kind of shit.
Hey, I'm amazed you even found the thing in the first place. Here is double for your trouble. Those freaky fetishists ought to be satisfied now. It is! It will? My god, imagine the possibilities! It didn't happen to come with an owner's manual, did it? Ah, forget it. Trial and error should do it. Later. Yep. Welcome back, friend. We ain't scraping to get by, if that's what you're asking. For the right caps, I might be able to put in a good word, or let people know you're not such a bad guy. What do you have in mind? All right, I can chat you up. Nelson's back in our hands. I hope we can defend it this time. Hey, hey, baby doll. Welcome to the Tops Hotel and Casino. I'm gonna have to ask you to hand over any weapons you might be carrying. Smooth and easy, just the way I like it. Don't worry, they'll be as safe as kittens till you're ready to leave. Oh, and a friendly word of advice. If you happen to stumble across any weapons during your stay here, well, just don't wear them openly. You dig? Now that we got that little business out of the way, what can I do to make your tops experience the tops? Relax, baby. The safe is houses. We'll keep them locked up in the bank upstairs right next to the money. It's serious protection. Everything your little heart desires, that's what. You like gambling? Boom. Either one of the main hallways has cards, slots, you name it. Hungry? Thirsty? The restaurant just off the left-hand hallway has the best food and booze in Vegas. Or maybe you'd rather take in a show. The Aces Theater upstairs always has hot acts raring to go. Check it out. Have a good time, baby. <laughs> I guess those are Meredith things Scott was coming to. What in the goddamn? Let's keep this in the groove, hey? Smooth moves, smooth. Hello. It was you smashed up the Omertus? You did that? Shit. You making a pass at me, sister? Because I'm out of your league. Did those bullets scramble your egg? Or have you always been a naughty broad? You're one sick pussycat, baby. There's Quinn's and then there's... I don't even know what to call you. I hear dig from you, babe, and all I can think of is a shovel. How can this be? This ain't forgiveness. It's something wrong. All right, honey, baby, this is all kinds of wrong, but to my sweet it is. Thirteenth floor, don't keep me waiting. Don't get too close to Mr. Benny.
Hello. This place is the bee's knees. Benny's gonna show you the tops. I hope you're built sturdy, you crazy broad. More than you ever dreamed, baby. You're platinum, pussycat. You know how to swing. Nice Charlies, too. Give him a shake for the Ben man, will you? Hello. Oh, that was a nice bit of hey hey, girly. You're a real ring a ding broad. Hold me, will you? I swear you wore me out. to meet you. What can I do for you today? Good question. My function is to monitor Mr. House's data network and decode his encrypted transmissions. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm a PDQ-88B Securitron, but you can call me Yes Man. It's what Benny always called me. Probably because I'm programmed to be so helpful. Oh, he had some help. A lady friend of his. She said something about living in a fort over in Freeside. But that's all I remember. Sure. Benny had me look at it a bunch of times. 
It's a data storage device, kind of like a holotape, but a lot more advanced. As for what's on it, well, some of Mr. House's data transmissions made it sound like the chip could upgrade his defenses somehow. That's just a guess, though. The chip's a proprietary format. You need special hardware to read the data on it. There are two locations with non-standard hardware on the network, the Lucky 38 and an underground facility at Fortification Hill. I'd look there! Oh, he wanted to kill Mr. House and use the platinum chip to copy my neural computational matrix onto the Lucky 38's mainframe. That would give me control over all of Mr. House's defenses, most prominently his Securitrons. And then, I guess, I just do as I'm told. I was programmed to be helpful and answer any questions I was asked. I guess nobody bothered to restrict who I answer questions for. That was probably pretty dumb, huh? Then I'd have to help you. I mean, it seems pretty obvious Benny wouldn't have wanted me to, but hey, not my fault I can't say no. Again, goal number one is to eliminate Mr. House and install my neurocomputational matrix on the Lucky 38's mainframe. Given how you're a new arrival, I also recommend that you get to know some of the region's tribes, so you can decide how you feel about them. By the time you've finished up all of that, the Legion should be close to attacking Hoover Dam, and we'll execute the last phase of the plan. No, I didn't mean that. Who needs their support? The Securitrons will be all the support you need. What I meant is, you should get to know these tribes and decide which ones you like and which you don't. You know, shape the future of Vegas. Choose your neighbors. If you like a tribe, leave it alone. Or, if a tribe is nasty or going to be a problem, go ahead and exterminate it. It's whatever you want to do. There's a bunch. Some of them you've already met, like the chairman, for instance. I think you should visit the other families on this strip, the Omertas and the White Glove Society, so you know what makes them tick. And there are some important groups farther from the strip, too, like the Boomers, the Great Khans, and the Brotherhood of Steel. Of course, ask away. They must be a really nasty people. I haven't heard a single good thing about them. They fire artillery on anyone who comes near their settlement at Nellis Air Force Base. Talk about rude. If they can be convinced to fire those big cannons at the Legion, or NCR though, well, that'd be neat, wouldn't it? Take all the time you need. Anything else I can help with? The cons are just... They're a dirty people. They live in tents like animals, and they're very rude. They've been kicked around a lot, but no one's finished them off. Not yet, anyway. They were one of the tribes the three families pushed out of Vegas. A whole bunch got killed. So they settled at Bitter Springs, but they kept being so obnoxious, the NCR had to kill a whole bunch more of them. So then, they settled at Red Rock Canyon. There's just no getting rid of them. You set the pace. Anything else I can help with? Wow! That is amazing! You are just a hero! I am serious! That's one down, four to go. <laughs> From what I understand, they're perfectly delightful. They're cultured, clean, and super polite. Benny didn't like them, though. He said they were creepy. Don't hurry on my account. I'm the one with a flexible schedule. Anything else I can help with? 
some of Mr. House's data said that he'd lost a bunch of Securitron scouts near Hidden Valley. Telemetry showed that they'd been attacked with energy weapons. House was pretty sure it was the Brotherhood. There must be a bunch of them holed up there. Not a good place for a robot to visit. They go around in big suits of power armor and they have lots of energy weapons. But there's a downside. They just have a thing about technology. They think it should all be theirs. If someone else has it, they get mad. All I'm saying is, not much of a chance they'll accept a Vegas that polices itself with robots. No rush, take your time. Anything else I can help with? You bet. It makes me feel really dumb to admit this, but I don't actually know. I've never been inside the Lucky 38. No one has. Mr. House is in there, though. It's the central node of his entire network. Wow. Do you have any idea how special that is? Red carpet treatment? Seems a little mean to use his invitation against him like that, but I'm sure it's all for the best. I mean, Benny was always scheming about how he was going to get into the Lucky 38, but you already took care of that. Wow. The other thing you're going to need is the platinum chip. You know, the one Benny killed a courier for over near Good Springs. I knew she was carrying the platinum chip, and I knew right where Benny should wait for her. That's why Benny put me here, to monitor Mr. House's data transmissions. They're all encrypted, of course, but I'm quite a decryptor. Did you know that Mr. House spent 812,545 caps hiring salvage teams to find the platinum chip just in the last year alone? Of course you didn't. Or that there were seven couriers, but six of them were carrying junk. How about their exact route and the mercenary teams that screened them? I knew all that. Pretty smart, huh? <laughs> I know that's not true, because you still have a head. <laughs> that's not funny, you getting shot in the head. I really shouldn't have taken so much pride in how I set that up, huh? I feel really bad right now. Of course you do. Sorry about that. And it's wonderful that you do. The platinum chip is the key to overriding and exploiting Mr. House's defenses. Did I just say exploiting? That's not a very nice word. Sorry if that was getting boring. Right! It's one of two locations on Mr. House's network with non-standard hardware. My guess is it has a reader that can decode the chip. And who knows what else, maybe a giant robot or something. Neat. Let me know what you find out. I'll be waiting right here. Hang loose, baby. The eyes of the mighty Kaisar are upon you. He admires your accomplishments and bestows upon you the exceptional gift of his mark. Any crimes you may have perpetrated against the Legion are hereby forgiven. Kaisar will not extend this mercy a second time. My lord requires your presence at his camp at Fortification Hill. 
His mark will guarantee your safe conduct through our lands. I am the greatest of Kaisar's frumentari. It was not a challenge to find you. Nor is this my first visit to the Strip. Go to him, and you will understand. Seek Kaisar by way of Cottonwood Cove, south of Nelson. The Kursor Lukulus will be waiting. Hey, you there. I have a message for you. It's from Ambassador Crocker. Very important. Here you go. Kaisar awaits. <laughs> 